I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build It. Today we're testing glues for 3D printing, everything from super glue to 3D glue, and we're going to put these glues to the test with a stress test that's designed for real world application. But before we do that, make sure you like and follow. <laughs> When working with PLA or other filaments, choosing the right glue is critical in making sure you have a strong and durable bond. Each type of glue has strengths and weaknesses. We've designed the stress test for FDM prints to explore the pros and cons of each type of glue. Now let's get started. I designed one test that's basically going to test two principles of how you would use 3D printed parts in real life. One, can they snap apart? And two, can they twist apart? So I designed these sort of like bike handle type shapes because I'd be able to get a good grip on them and either snap them or twist them apart. Now these are printed out of standard PLA and are about 15% infill. And what we're going to do based on each glue's specific parameters, we're going to glue these together and we're going to leave them for the required amount of time based on the glue's instructions. If they need to be clamped, I'm able to easily clamp this design together in order to make sure it bonds based on the glue's instructions. And then we're going to see, can I twist them apart or can I snap them apart? So I have about 24 of these things I have to 3D print on my Bamboo Lab Carbon. We're going to get them labeled, glued together, and start the testing. And while we're doing that, let's discuss the pros and cons of each of these different adhesives. 3D printing glue offers strong bonds, specifically designed for 3D printing filaments. 3D glue is available for specific materials such as PLA, ABS, and PETG. It can fill small gaps, which makes the bond even stronger. So what are some of the cons of 3D glue? Well, it's a lot more expensive than some of the other multi-purpose adhesives. So what are some of the pros and cons of super glue? It has quick setting times and bonds almost instantly, allowing for a quick assembly time. It provides a strong bond, especially for smaller parts. It can be found pretty much anywhere from hardware store to craft stores. One of the cons of super glue is that it's pretty brittle. JB Weld for plastics is probably one of my favorite epoxies to use pretty much everywhere, but for 3D printing, this one for plastic works really well. So what are some of the pros of JB Weld for plastics? It forms a strong and durable bond for load bearing parts. It can fill gaps and reinforce joints. It maintains its strength at higher temperatures, so it's really useful where you have parts that may be exposed to some heat. What are some of the cons of JB Weld for plastics? Well, it has a long curing time and actually takes a couple of hours to set. It is a two-part epoxy, so it does require mixing of the actual epoxy before you apply it to your parts. Now we're also testing Gorilla Glue. I haven't used this too much for 3D printed parts, but I did get the sort of traditional marine Gorilla Glue, as well as this new one that's clear and supposedly non-foamy. Now what are some of the pros of Gorilla Glue? Gorilla Glue provides a strong, long-lasting bond. Gorilla Glue is also resistant to water, making it really good for prints that are going to be exposed to the outdoors or even just water exposure. One of the downsides of Gorilla Glue is it does expand, so it may cause the misalignment or actually oozing of the glue outside of the part area you're trying to glue. That's why we're going to test this non-foam one also. It has longer cure time, so it does slow down the process if you're putting together a bigger scale 3D print. It also requires you to dampen your parts before applying the actual adhesive. Now this is an interesting one. I've never used liquid nails on a 3D print, but we're going to test it. Now, what are some of the pros and cons of liquid nails? Liquid nails provides a strong durable bond, especially on bigger surfaces. It can fill gaps, improving the bond between parts. It also works on a variety of materials, not just plastic. So some of the cons of liquid nails is it has a long curing time. It could also be a pretty messy adhesive to handle. And it may be a bit of an overkill for small 3D printed projects. What are the pros and cons of hot glue guns? One of the pros of a hot glue gun is it bonds almost instantly. It also provides a little bit of a flexible bond, so the application of the adhesive is pretty straightforward. It's not really complicated to use a hot glue gun. One of the cons of a glue gun is it has a pretty weak bond in comparison to the other adhesives. This could also deform your PLA because, like the name implies, it is hot coming out of the gun, so sometimes that's enough to melt your actual PLA. If you saw a video on making a glue gun into uh, basically a 3D print gun, you know exactly what I mean. 
For those of you who may be questioning whether I'm just strong enough to bend or twist these adhesives apart, what I would say is I, I've been grappling my whole life. I'm a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt that actively trains and I'm hoping my grip strength should be strong enough to either twist or uh, bend these adhesives apart. But let's see what happens. I divided the test into two groups. The adhesives that cure in under two hours, which included the hot glue, the super glue, 3D Gloop and JB Weld, and the adhesives that cure in 24 hours, which included the liquid nails and the two types of Gorilla Glue, which are actually still curing. So we're gonna start testing these. Now, I sort of put them in the order I think they're gonna be strongest in. And remember, we're gonna perform two tests. One, I'm gonna to try to break them apart this way. And two, I'm gonna to try to twist them apart. So let's start with the hot glue. Now, let's just look at this. At the hot glue, so this one actually looks pretty clean, but you could actually see in here, there is some spacing where the hot glue caused a little bit of separation between the two parts. And on this one, we had a little bit of sort of overflow, really my fault. I probably put a little too much hot glue in it. So we're gonna start with this one. This is the one we're gonna try to bend. Let me just get my safety goggles on. <laughs> That's holding a lot better than I than I thought it would. There we go. Okay, so it did it did come apart after a minute, and you see the hot glue is pretty much to one side. Um, now we're gonna try to twist it apart. I don't have too much hope for twisting it if I couldn't break it like that, but let's see what happens. Okay, it's it's holding. So when I'm twisting, it's holding it. Okay, now we're gonna try the super glue. So that is my twist. This is my snap apart. Let's see what happens. Okay, the super glue hole held, but the PLA broke. Now we see here the super glue was pretty uh, clean. It didn't overspill anything. Um, it looks pretty clean. Let's try to twist. Holding. I don't know if my twist test was a good indicator. So let's try the 3D gloop next. First, we're gonna try to bend it. Wow, that actually, okay. It did break, but it came apart really quickly, but it did break, the PLA actually broke. Okay, let's try the twisting. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get any of these twisting apart. It doesn't seem like, it seems like twisting, actually they hold pretty well. Okay, let's check out the JB Weld. This is our break. Okay, once again, I broke the PLA, but the seal actually held. One of the things with the JBL, as you can see here, unlike the other ones, I will hot glue do this a little bit, but it actually shot out past the point of the, the connection because you know the, the material got pushed out. All right, we're gonna try a twisted part. Nope. Can't twist any of them apart so far. So twisting is good. So the motion, like think about, you have something like this and you've adhered it, right? The twisting motion, you know, is not gonna come apart. Now we seem to be able to snap it, but a lot of times it's snapping at the PLA level. Now let's get our ones that have been curing for 24 hours and see how they hold up. The liquid nails and the two Gorilla Glues have cured for 24 hours. Let's see how they hold up. Well, let's take a look at the liquid nails. As you can see, the liquid nails pushed out past the part that was adhered. We're gonna try to break it apart and let's see what happens. So this is our first one. Uh, yeah, that's 24 hours and that looks a little damp still. Ooh, I don't even wanna get that on my table. Okay, so liquid nails broke really easy. Now we're gonna try the twist test on it and see what happens. Okay, same thing. Okay, it's been 24 hours and it looks like this hasn't even fully cured. So I'm not really sure. It's actually really wet, which is pretty crazy. So the liquid nails failed on both tests. Okay, now we're gonna do the Gorilla Glue. We're gonna first do the standard Gorilla Glue. Now, as you can see, this one really expanded out. It actually 
stuck to my other workbench. That's how much foam. And this is the foamy one. It's the traditional Gorilla Glue. It foamed out. Um, let's see. This is my bend one. Let's see if it... Okay. It did come apart. So it snapped apart. Um, you can see there is glue on both sides, uh, but it did come apart cleanly. Let's see if I could twist it apart. Now, it's interesting. This one foamed out so much. I don't know if you guys could see that, but um, it actually shifted, and this was in a uh, clamp. So let's see. Nope, I cannot twist it apart. Okay, so Gorilla Glue actually came apart, and it did not break. It actually came apart. Now let's try the clear Gorilla Glue. This one also shifted a little, and it did foam outside. It says no foaming. I guess it didn't foam. It dripped outside. Um, so as you can see, there are some drip marks there on the clear, clear Gorilla Glue. Let's see if I could bend this one. Oh, that came off really easy. Actually, the only thing probably easier than that was the liquid nails. Um, okay. That was a clear Gorilla, gorilla Glue. Same thing. Had 24 hours. Let's see if we could twist it apart. Oh, and we twisted it apart pretty easily. And I did forget to put on my safety goggles during that last part, and I do apologize. Remember guys, safety should always be your first concern, and safety goggles should always be used when doing a test like this, especially when you're breaking something. Okay, so. It looks like we had some that actually held up pretty well. So which one succeeded in the snap test? The hot glue, the super glue, 3D Gloop and JB Weld. So which ones failed in the twist test? There was just two. Liquid Nails, which seemed to not even have cured after 24 hours, and the Clear Gorilla Glue. So I thought I was gonna come to more of a conclusion on which of these is really the best glue to use. So which glues perform the best? Super Glue, 3D Gloop, and JB Weld. They all pass both tests. Even the snap test where they did break, what happens is the PLA actually broke instead of the bond, the adhesion bond for all three of them. Now, maybe that's due to my test design. Maybe instead of doing it this way where I thought I'd get more adhesion, um, I should have done it this way where they were sort of, uh, I don't know, there was less, less of a point or a joint to break on the 3D print. I don't know, if you guys have any thoughts on how I should test these glues next, or three winners especially, let me know in the comments below. Choosing the right adhesive for your 3D printed projects depends on the nature of your 3D printed project. For quick and easy bonds, something like super glue may be perfect, but it may lack the strength and durability you need for your 3D printed project. For stronger and more durable projects, you may want to use JB Weld for plastics or 3D glue. Understanding the pros and cons of these adhesives, as well as their strength and durability, is going to set you up for successful 3D printing projects. For more on 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It, and remember, keep on making. Thank <laughs> you.